Hey guys, the Llama Modder here with another review. This one is the first player mechanical keyboard. This is the MK5. And this one is it's called the retro typewriter style, but on the keyboard itself and on the website it calls it Steampunk Lite. I don't know why, but who knows? I might mod it later, make it kind of steampunky, possibly. But so this is my review of it. It is about $50 on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below. I'll have the name of it up on the video somewhere as well. And sorry for the shaky desk. My, it's definitely the desk, but um, I'm using a old desk of mine as a place to record videos and do work. So that's kind of where I'm stuck at. So anyways, so we have the MK5 right here. Like I said, it's a typewriter key. So it has these circular keys and they're all concave except for the space bar which I actually kind of like. It kind of moves your finger down into it and you can't, like if you see, I'm not really hitting the other key right there. Um, pretty much, this is everything that pretty much came in the bag right here or in the box. You got an instruction manual and a, one of those small discs, kind of like a GameCube disc for the software. But you get five extra switches, which these are, I can't remember the name, I'll put them up on the video, but they're something blue switches but they're they've been compared to brown switches a lot i'm used to romer g's which these feel similar to you get your keycap puller and then you also get the switch puller so you can actually swap out the switches for this guy which is a really neat feature let's see if i can actually get these clipped on or not and if i wanted to say say this is one of their red switches I can just take it and plop it right in and it's good to go and you know because of the way the uh, switches are made it's universal so as long as it's on there and it's giving that signal it really doesn't give a shit but it also has a nice USB it's one of the larger ones so it doesn't bend and break as easily and it is gold plated it looks like uh, all of it's it's 1.6 meters and it is braided so that's really nice to have it has on the website i think it's about on the software is about 12 rgb functions so i'll be doing a little clip of that near the end of showing off all the rgb and i'll show the software itself alongside of it but uh, like i said they're blue switches they're about 50 million key presses so it's not as high as my romer g's but it is around what cherry mx provides but overall this is a it's a great keyboard i love it like i said only fifty dollars great structure it's all metal there's almost no flex in this as you can see no play at all in the metal so that's really nice compared to some of the other keyboards i've messed around with they've had a decent amount of flex but and as you can see it has no extra media keys or anything no sound wheel or anything like that everything is controlled by these media keys up in the f in f keys which some people might not like i don't mind because i'm used to it i don't like that they're they're painted on rather than made into the plastic such as the keys themselves but that's that's a small thing i like i said i would have preferred sorry i kicked the stand i would have preferred they weren't painted but i'm not bothered by it but overall great keyboard Great. I, I really like the switches. I'll be using this guy for my test bench, which I might show up a picture. And I really enjoy it. It's, it's a great value. $50. You're not going to find one with this kind of quality, really, from a good company. You'll probably get like a cheap knockoff version of another brand that'll just kind of fall apart. But this one feels like it's going to last a long time. And I might do a follow up video later on. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the RGB functions and you guys can just watch that, you can skip it. It's up to you, but I wanna go ahead and say thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.